just want this season in your body to go. No matter what they tell you at home, 
Listen to me. You are not born by mistake. God owns your life. He's the Lord over your life. Praise Him. Listen. You are not born by mistake. You are in that family for a reason. Joseph was not born by mistake. He was born for a reason that even though he was persecuted by his brothers, yet he became the prime minister of Egypt and through him the entire generation of Israel was saved. <laughs> are we together? Listen, if you are talking about being rejected, Jesus in his mother's womb was rejected. Yeah. Listen, whatever you are going through right now, Jesus paid the price for it. <laughs> Are, we, are you together? Praise the Lord. He's the owner of your life. Listen, guys at the back, whether you're hearing me or not, I want you to understand this. It is the Lord we praise. Can I tell you something? During praise and worship, it is not the praise and worship team that is leading you to praise. Are we? And they are not your audience. The audience is one. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Are we together? So you don't say, ah, praise the Lord, make what bogus. No, it was not. All of you prayed because it was not about the worship table. Mm -hmm. Now, let me let me put something clear. The job of the praise and worship team is not to lead people in the presence of God. I know you'll be shocked with that. Can I go deeper? Mm -hmm. John told us to say, if I be lifted up, I will draw men to myself. No matter how many songs the praise and worship team sings, if Jesus is not willing to draw you to himself, you will never get into his presence. Are you getting it? That's what I'm telling you. Their job is not to lead you in, pray, in the presence of God. Their job is to help you lift Jesus so that Jesus can draw you to himself. Together. So the Bible says, praise ye the Lord, but where? In his sanctuary, in his dwelling place. Are you getting it? That should teach you something, that as a Christian, as a worshiper, don't wait on Sunday. Learn to build an atmosphere of praise around you. I know you're not getting it. Let me go to this side. You don't wait on Sunday to come and praise God here. Some dwells in the secret place, the very sanctuary of God, shall abide under the shelter of the Most High. And the Bible continues to say that He shall say, The Lord is my refuge. That is praise. You pray to God in the secret place, the sanctuary. You got to learn to build an atmosphere of intimacy with God. That you are in that class and you're still like, Yes, Shaitan Bible says, You are the mighty warrior. Like something like we give you glory. 
This is what the Bible says. He praises in the firmament of his power. Firmament means something that lays a basis and a foundation of something. Are we together? So, <coughs> praising upon the best and the foundation of God's power. What is the foundation and the best of God's power? The Bible says, in that base and foundation, praise God. But look at this, the Bible says, Thou hast exalted thy word above thy own thy lens. If you praise God based on the word, your praise shall have power. Because the word of God is the best of God's power.
happen after today? Something must happen. Don't mind about me introducing myself on the team without the assignment. All together. Normally, I don't introduce myself anywhere I go. Can we try it? So, we can all together. I'm done with the assignment. Are you ready to pray, sir? Yes! Are you ready to pray, sir? Yes! Are you ready to pray, sir? Yes! Are you ready to